you know, what an exciting game. Uh, who knew that we would get there? Uh, we've been at that, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, we've been there at that point several different ways, okay, over the years, but uh, uh, that was a little bit weird to get there, to be down 17 13. Uh, didn't play well early, obviously, give Murray State credit. I mean, they were playing well. We were kind of walking around a little bit, just kind of waiting for somebody to get it started. Uh, you know, disappointed our band couldn't be here today. You know, we just didn't have the energy, but they usually do a great job, and uh, so it was too quiet out there. And we didn't bring our, uh, we didn't provide our own energy early. Okay, now our kids were confident and knew that they could execute, but give Murray State credit, they weren't waiting around, they were getting after us. So uh, once we got a chance to tie the game to halftime, I felt good about the situation because I knew uh, we could take control, be able to still be balanced, you know, with the run game. We could get back to the throw because Jerry was certainly making a bunch of plays, the wide receiver making plays. So, uh, you know, uh, big day for him. When you have a senior quarterback. Those are the kind of games that you can overcome some things. And he did that. Give, uh, you know, give Mitch, give Coach Stewart credit. Um, you know, he's bringing his personality, his fight to that football team, and they kept fighting. You know, if they had more time, you know, who knows what would have happened. But uh, anyway, we're four to one in the conference. Uh, we control our own destiny. We get to the Arkansas game this week. You know, hey, we'll practice. We'll get ready to go. But we got those three conference games here in a couple of weeks, and then uh, you know, so we're gonna control, control our own destiny. We're very proud of the football team to find a way. Jason, this game in the Tennessee State can move down two touchdowns early on. How much do you see that, and you're encouraged by coming back? How much do you see that, and think you know we have stuff in behind? Both. Both. Very proud to be able to overcome obstacles. And we're doing that because we're experienced at quarterback and experienced, you know, in a lot of key positions. Uh, so that's why I'm concerned that that it's happened to us in two conference games that, you know, we're letting teams take the lead. We're not scoring that first drive uh, and we're not getting stops on the first drive, okay? But I thought their special teams outperformed us. I thought they played faster than we did. Uh, you know, that's why we had to go sky kick every time because they'd already run one kick back against us. So, uh, like I said, once again, there's, uh, you know, I can see the difference of Coach Stewart being able to cut down between the two teams. And, uh, you know, so give them credit. And, um, you know, luckily we got out here today. Talk about your third down efficiency. You converted and keeping them. I ain't seen it yet. I bet it was pretty good. Yeah, 12 and 19. Uh, you know, give our offensive staff a lot of credit. I mean, I'm with those guys, but John Bond, and Justin Muscotti, and Kevin Bannon, and James Guest, I mean, those guys work their tail off every week and make my job easy to be able to, they come up with good plans every week, and I appreciate being a part of that. And, uh, you know, and then, like I said, once again, Jared Neal, you know, throw 420 yards, being 12-19. Uh, you know, he started, got off to a rocky start, right, with the first pick. And kind of, you didn't see the guy, the guy kind of popped up on him. But, uh, yeah, 12-19, uh, and then hold him a 3-13. of 13. That, that was probably the key to the game. You've had a lot of good things to say about Trent Garland over the last few years. Uh, how satisfying is it for you to see him contribute and get a touchdown with all the stuff like you did? It is. I mean, when you talk about, okay, you know, when you say we want our players to be about toughness, well, I don't have any tough than Trent Garland. We want to be about being a good student, uh, you know, in, in the classroom. You know, the guys already graduated, you know, with three something GPA. We're talking about caring about your teammates and preparing, giving yourself a chance. We're talking about a guy that was patient and, um, you know, and didn't play a whole lot, right? Remember, the rest of your freshman, sophomore, just kind of spot played. Um, you know, he he makes me proud to be his coach, and I appreciate it. Did you feel good going into the half, not only tied, but knowing that their defense was on the field for long, sustainable drives? Yeah, we did. When I looked at that time of possession, uh, you know, first thing I thought was that, man, we've had the ball a lot. Maybe we've tired them out a little bit. Uh, you know, they're good defensive lineman, good player, 97. I noticed that he had gone out with the, you know, I didn't know what kind of injury it was. Uh, he's a good player. He was causing his problems early in the game. Uh, you know, we lost a couple guys as well, but, uh, you know, like I said, you, you just have, you say, okay, we think this will work, we'll go back to this. At some point, we got to get some stops, so maybe we could separate and get to a two score and maybe a th third score. But I never felt comfortable in the game until the last, you know, maybe two minutes because of uh, their ability to score. Do you think they wore down in the second half as, as far as defense is concerned? Uh, yeah, I think they did. I, th I think they did a little bit. Uh, you know, I'm not going to speak, speak for them. Uh, I just think, you know, maybe sometimes you just get blocked, sometimes you. Uh, you know, when you're not playing with any tempo and you get 89 plays, I mean, we were milking the clock that whole fourth quarter, right? We are milking the clock. We are we're trying to use all 40 seconds lined up, and you're still able to get 89 plays. Uh, you know, that's your, your control in the line of scrimmage. Our offensive line did that today at, at, at times, certainly did. We talked a lot about Weathers and Wright, you know, what they've been the last few weeks, but, you know, uh, Jerry went to William Tanner a lot. It seemed like early in the game. What's, what's Tanner done to put himself in position to help you guys out? Tanner's that guy. His name is Tanner. Okay, and he fits the guy. Have you ever seen the Bad News Bears? You know, the little shortstop that throws the trophy back at the guy because he doesn't want the second place? That's who he is, all right? 
And what I mean that is with the most due respect, because he just loves to compete. He loves to line up, he loves to play football. You know, he gets mad when we don't, you know, when, when we don't practice and why are we not throwing the ball around? You know, why are, you cut the practice five minutes short today. The guy loves to play. He's fun to coach. He thinks he can get open, open against, you know, Ray Sherman and uh, that he's on our team. But, but he would throw the trophy back at the commissioner. I think he might, the second place trophy. <laughs> Having won, you know, four conference games, do you feel like you're in the conference race for real now? Mathematically, why not? Mathematically, why not? You control your whole destiny. Now, you know, we know what's coming down the road here. I mean, you know, there's some good teams ahead of us. But, uh, you know, hey, you'd rather be right here at 4-1 than last year where we were 0-3, you, know, you know. Now, you know, it's funny about it, right? You finished 5-3 and three last year, but you had to win your last five. So it's a totally different feel when you go to practice when you're climbing that uphill compared to getting your wins early and then get a chance to see, you know, mathematically what's going to happen at the end. But uh, a lot of football left to play. We're still in the conversation with three weeks to go. And you still love the grit, and you're starting to get more healthy, so that has to be possible. Well, hopefully we'll get Kyle Carrick back, maybe Ben Axline here in the next two weeks, because, I mean, Kalen Weathers, you know, we've been playing with three receivers. All right, he goes out today. So you saw uh, Houston go in the game today, make a couple catches. He hadn't played in several weeks any meaningful minutes. And he's the transfer from UAB. They're just, you know, we've been playing with three guys. So when Weathers go out, goes out in the first half today, you know, there's our 6'4 touchdown maker. And, I mean, there was a lull. A little bit, but guys, guys kept rolling and Jerry kept making a few plays. Thanks, coach. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here.